Sweet home Alabama. Na, 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 na. You know, as much as I've heard this song, I've never heard it in its entirety. But, to be fair, I have heard the song, so we're not going to label this uh, first time hearing or first time reacting. You know, we keep it honest here on this channel. We don't do the fake li we don't do the fake titles. We don't do none of that. We always honest with each other. I've one million percent heard this song before, but I've never heard the whole thing. I don't think. Like I, I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't recite the second verse. You know what I mean? Like I you know. So I'm excited to finally hear the whole thing, but yes, I've heard this song, love the song. It's been a while since I've reacted to Leonard Skinner. They've given me some phenomenal moments on this channel. And um happy to hear him again. You know, and and in you know, following up with um the idea that I was gonna react to songs and videos that I even you know that I have seen or heard before. Um I'm just excited to finally hear the whole thing, man. So Leonard Skinner, Sweet Home Alabama, song research afterwards. Let's go. You talking about Neil Young? Well, I heard Mr. Young sing about her. Well, I heard O'Neal put her down. Can't be talking about Neil Young. No way. And does Neil Young have a song talking about Alabama? Because I haven't heard that. Y'all didn't request that. Nah, he not talking about Neil Young. He not talking about Neil I'm tripping. I'm tripping. But I love it. I love this song. Talking about New York? Yo, ho, ho, ho. So, is this a cover song? Does Neil Young have a song called Sweet Home Alabama? Oh, I can't wait to do the song research. Oh, no. I did not know. I did not know Neil Young sung this song. Oh, wow. That's incredible.
I thought when I did my Leonard Skinner research, I don't remember reading they were from Alabama. I forgot exactly. Tennessee? Mississippi? Either Mississippi or I, th or I thought maybe it was Alabama. I don't know why I, I didn't I don't remember reading that they were from Alabama um but boy I mean whoever's on that freaking piano do, 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 I love that little part oh man and, and the, the song is carried by this guitar I mean it's absolutely incredible bro love the song <laughs> fade out the piano that might have been my favorite instrument from the song hold on one second I dropped my phone all the way over here how you gonna fade out the piano the piano was killing me all right love the song bro love the song I mean it's one of the more recognizable songs in in music history, you know what I mean? Oh, not the movie. I didn't know it was a movie. Okay. Uh, released on the band's second studio album, second second helping. Uh, it was uh oh. <laughs> It was written in response to Neil Young's song, Southern Man. Now, we have reacted to that. That is very... Uh, wow, which the band blamed the entire... Felt blamed... Uh, the entire South for American slavery. Young is name checked and dissed in the lyrics. Now, uh, now Neil, I 
I'm really thinking about the lyrics and Southern Man. I love that freaking song. I'm really trying to sit here and think. Did Neil blame the entire South in that song? Whoo! We got rock and roll beef, y'all. I did not know we was doing this today. Did Neil diss the whole South? And what did Leonard uh, Skinner say right here on the Neil part? Uh, well, I hope I hope Neil Young will remember. Okay. All right. I did not know we was about to dissect rock and roll beef. <sighs> did Neil Young diss the entire South? Was this response warranted? You know something? blame the whole South though like alright hold on let me go back to the lyrics of Southern Man I love that song too um yo I cannot believe we are getting into rock and roll beef right now this is hilarious Southern Man better keep your head don't forget what your good book said Southern change is gonna come at last now your crosses are burning Southern man. I saw cotton and I saw black. Tall white mansions and little shacks. Southern man. When will you pay them back? I heard screaming, bull whips, cracking. How long? How long? How? I mean, he's not specifying. I. Again, because it's called Southern Man, right? And he doesn't specify. But, I mean, Alabama was one of the states that, that was very prominent in slavery. And we all know the, the I mean, all the way into the, well, into the Civil Rights era. Um, Alabama was a pretty harsh uh, state for slaves. Um I'm rolling with Neil. Even though I love this song. I'm rolling with Neil. And no, it ain't got nothing to do with race. Or 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 the like I from what I'm reading, it, it, it kind of felt like from Neil from the way I'm reading Neil's lyrics, it was almost like if the shoe if the shoe fits, and so the fact that you felt the need to respond, I Hey, I'm rolling with Neil because he didn't specify who. So it's a bl like, and I know they're saying, okay, well you're, you 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 blame the whole South, so that's the issue. But I don't know. This is a great conversation. This is a great, like, I'm not gonna lie, I really like this. Again, I did not know we was about to get into this. Um, You know what? Yeah, I'm rolling with Neil. 
Um, if the glove fit, uh, hey, it's sad that 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 Leonard Skinner felt the need. And listen, I, I've, I've again because y'all know I do my research even outside of the research that I do on the channel. You know, I've, I I saw some things about Leonard Skinner. I'm not gonna lie. Now the fact that the the Confederate flag was kind of like their logo. I really didn't think much of it because, you know, the Confederate flag literally just, like, literally just kind of got deemed, you know what I'm saying, un-American like a few years ago with the whole flag and statues thing that was happening um, a few years back. A lot of statues are being torn down of old Confederates. Um, and then the Confederate flag kind of got, you know, everything that happened and, um, Oh man, what's the spot in Virginia? Um, Charlottesville. Uh, you know, so I, I didn't, even though I, I kept seeing the Confederate flag kind of like, again, as their logo, I didn't really like put too much stock into it because I know a lot of people from the South, Confederate flag means a lot. Now, I, I also know that a lot of people are ignorant to what the Confederate flag really means. So that's why I really didn't put too much emphasis on the Confederate flag kind of being associated with the band and anybody who kind of chooses to like, because right, again, a lot of people are just ignorant. You know what I mean? So, and I don't, I don't deem ignorance. Again, I tell y'all I'm ignorant all the time. You know what I'm saying? I tell y'all how stupid I am all the time. So I don't, I don't necessarily um, throw ignorance as like a, like a, a, you know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't crucify people because of ignorance. I don't. I know a lot of people that do, but I don't. So you know, again, I didn't really trip over that, but. I did read some. I, I did read some things about Leonard Skinner that I was like, eh. but again, I, I when it comes to this channel, we just stick with the music. Um, now, if I read that Leonard Skinner actually did something to somebody, like you know what I mean, like it, or they were a part of something that really, uh, you know, dehumanized or hurt or offended somebody which I'm sure some of their music probably did but I mean intentionally if we get into that type of thing then you know but this is this is really crazy bro I did not know this song was a diss song well it's not a diss song but it got a, a, a line in it about Neil Young We thought Neil was shooting all the ducks in order to kill one or two, said Ronnie Van Zant at the time. The lyrics to Sweet Home Alabama include the following lines. Well, I heard Mr. Young sing about her. Well, I heard old Neil put her down. Well, I hope Neil Young will remember. A southern man don't need a man around anyhow. Uh, in Young's 2012 autobiography, Waging Heavy Peace, he commented on his song, My own song, Alabama, richly deserved the shot. Oh, it deserved, it richly deserved the shot, Leonard. Skinner gave me with their great record. I don't like my words when I listen to it. They are oh, accusatory and condescending. Not fully thought out. And too easy to misconstrue. Yeah, see, I, I, when I was listening to Southern Man, I did not, me, I did not take it as a diss song to every man and every person in the South. You know what I mean? Like, I, I didn't take it that way. So, like, again, it's so, I cannot believe we are talking about this. So, like, obviously, for me coming from the world of hip-hop, 
I could give you the countless amount of, uh, amount of rap beefs and battles that started because somebody rapped something that was kind of like, well, who are you talking about? I guess the prime example of this would be a perfect comparison would be Common, right? If you ever heard the rapper Common, he got a song called The Girl I Used to Love, right? The song is called The song is called A Girl I Used to Love. And he's rapping about a woman that he loves and she's from the East Coast. She's from where he's from, but she goes to LA and she kind of get not not that she gets messed up, but a, a lot about her changes. And when so when she came back to the East, she was a completely different girl and he didn't love her anymore. So the girl was supposed to represent hip hop, right? Hip hop started in the East. It started in New York and then it went out to the West Coast. And so the 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 metaphor correlation is he basically saying, yo, when New York was here in the East, I loved it. It raised me. It was all of these great things. It went out to California, and that's when Gangster Rap and Ice Cube and N.W.A. and all of them started to make uh, hip-hop music. And he was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? It's just completely changed. That's not the hip-hop that I grew up on. And now it's coming back here, and I'm like, it don't feel the same. I don't love it like I used to. And so Ice Cube. Of course, everybody knows Ice Cube. Ice Cube and West Side Connection, they made a diss song responding to Common because they felt as though Ice Cube, because Ice Cube thought that Common was saying, yo, why are you saying that hip hop was great in New York? It was great out east, but when it came out here, it got fucked up. And now hip hop is not good no more. Why are you saying that? And so Ice Cube dissed Common. So but again if you listen to the lyrics that common says he said um it's all good i wasn't salty she was with the boys in the hood like she he he wasn't he wasn't blaming west coast hip-hop for not loving hip-hop no more he just said yo it's a difference right Again, completely diff different context. We're talking about a culture and a music genre compared to slavery. You know what I mean? Like, in no way, shape, or form am I comparing the two. But I just feel as though it's a perfect example of how when you're not direct with your words, it could start, it could start something. You know what I mean? And... But I, I didn't take, when I heard Southern Man, and when I reacted to it, y'all go back and watch my Southern Man reaction. I did not take it to be, a, I, I didn't take it to be a diss. I didn't. I didn't. But I can't blame Leonard Skinner for how they felt, and if they felt the need to respond, then so be it. But I'm happy that even though, you know, you know most of Leonard Skinner passed away in that terrible crash, um plane crash and and you know neil is now older and wiser and but but and I, I don't think neil should feel bad about that you know that's the beauty of music is the fact that everything doesn't have to be well thought out it doesn't have to be you don't have to draw on this canvas the way everybody else does you know that's the beauty of music is that it, 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 it if it's genuine it comes from a real place and sure, you can explain your intentions later, but I mean, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't feel bad for creating what you created. But I understand. But again, and again, I didn't take when I was now I, I gotta go back and listen to Southern Man, even though I just read the lyrics. I didn't take it as a diss. I really did it. I gotta hear it again. But. If I had to pick which song I like more, even though, yeah, I love, I'm on Neil's side in this situation. Sweet Home Alabama is hard. I ain't gonna lie. Sweet Home Alabama is hard. Um, so I'm gonna wrap this up. This was phenomenal. I cannot believe we like my throat hurting now because I done raised my voice. Y'all know I'm still sick, but this was really exciting to learn about. This is dope. This is crazy. I cannot believe this. It was rock and roll beef. 
Oh, wow. That is incredible. This was dope, man. I, I got to hear some more rock and roll beef. If there are two songs in rock and roll that are directed to each two respective bands, I want to hear it. So y'all request those in the uh, comment section, man. Let's get this rock and roll beef started. We're going to start a rock and roll beef segment on the channel. I want to hear that. That's crazy. Neil Young versus Leonard Skinner. That is fire. That is hilarious. Oh, man. That's crazy, man. Y'all let me know how y'all felt about this. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, with Leonard Skinner. Peace.